Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, this is going to be a very quick one, but we did have a customer asking if we can target data attributes uh, in motion page. Now, although you cannot use a typical selector in motion page to target an attribute specifically, what we can do once again is use variables in the root and then target those specific variables uh, within motion page. So let me show you how to do that. So here I've just set up a new page in bricks. I'm just going to add a section and then I will add a header here. So on this header, we can add an attribute down here and I can call this anything that I like. So for example, I'll just call this data attributes and I'll give it a value of Luke. So I'm going to save that. And then what I'm going to do is using CSS. So here I'm using WP go box. I can do here root, and then I can create a unique variable. So let's say, for example, I want to change the background color on this element with this data attribute. Okay. So what I can do is I can create my own variable called DA and let's say that is data attribute hyphen Luke. So I know it's the data attribute belonging to Luke or sorry, the data attribute with the value of Luke and then something meaningful, for example, BG. Okay. And then let's do blue for example. And then what I can do is apply it to that element using, so we'll do data attribute equals Luke. And here's my selector to apply the initial variable. So once again, this is going to be background color and I will use my variable. All right. So I'm going to save this one. I'll also save this and let's see it on the front. So as you can see this element, I'm using the selector here to target the element with the data attribute of a value of Luke. And then we are applying our variable created in root. So if I go to motion page now, create new timeline. I'll just call this data attribute. We'll go to our new page. So here you can see we have our element. So let's say I want to change the background color since that's the main focus here. Then I'm going to go not to background color. What I need to do is go to custom. Now remember we created this unique variable on purpose because this is only being applied to the element with this data attribute, right? So then we can now target this one in motion page using the property here. So it's going to go from its original state, which is blue. And then let's say I want it to go to red on page load. Now the problem is we have not selected uh, an element for the actual animation. So motion page requires something to go here, right? Now what you could do is uh, just do body. So it's going to target every variable here inside the body. Now this is okay. So for example, I'll show you, it does work. This is okay. For example, if you're not using uh, an opacity here, for example, from zero uh, to one, because that's going to do everything on the main body selector. So as long as you're creating unique variables all of the time and only targeting those unique variables here in custom, then this should be completely okay. So save timeline. And then let's take a look on the front end. If I hit refresh, you can see now we are targeting the variable, which is only applied to this element with the data attribute found here. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below if you need any clarification. But uh, this was just originally going to be a quick response to a customer. But basically, yes, you can, in theory, target data attributes, but it is a little bit convoluted because we do have to make these variables, but it does work. So I hope that helps. And uh, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.